yesterday we got done with the field and uh, moved back to the windrow field that we're on right now. And uh, first thing I do this morning is to service and then we're going to take all the equipment to the next field. Well, see, next field is kind of far away, so uh, it's probably going to be an hour-ish move this morning. Thank you. So I'm pretty excited today and that's because today should be our last cutting day for Nebraska. So for normal days I don't grease this drum right here or at least this pivot but since I'm standing right next to it with a grease gun and it's off the combine I'm just gonna go ahead and hit these grease fittings even though it's not time for it but there's a grease fitting right here on this little pivot. Doesn't take much. We're gonna hit the road. We have probably an hour drive, so it's probably gonna be a while.
There's no take two, buddy. You gotta do it the first time. <laughs> Like we do it all day. Well, I hope you all had a good time with mom. But uh, she told me that she only wanted the camera for one field, so. Cody's gonna dump on dad what he has left of this field, and then dad's just gonna take that in. And then we're gonna be moving to the very last field for Nebraska, so I'm pretty excited. But anyways, let's get to moving. this everything but smooth. At least we got essentials. <laughs> we eat like little 12 year olds. Well, we are officially done with Nebraska wheat harvest. So the plan for the rest of the day is we are going to take all the equipment back to the yard. I don't think we're gonna do a whole bunch for the rest of the day, but I know tomorrow we are going to be cleaning up some equipment and maybe looking at some things that might need attention. And I believe we're gonna be loading tomorrow. That means the next day, so not tomorrow, but the next day, it's going to be move day where we'll be heading to North Dakota. But first order of business is to get everything back to the yard. Well, we moved back to the yard. I don't know what we're doing. It's already hot this morning. It was like 10 o'clock. What time is it? Phone says it's 9-11. I think the camera and the timestamp is going to be wrong because that's mountain time. And I think the camera is still set on central. But this morning we have a list of things to do. It's actually quite impressive. I will show y'all. I'll do a little walk around on all the stuff that's broke. Y'all are going to be pretty amazed how we even finished. I guess we can start out with the most impressive. <laughs> OMG. I don't even know how that was running. I guess both sides of the uh, pulley came off. But I guess the belt's running in the middle. I don't know, that's pretty crazy. And then if we come over here to mom's combine, this is what the pulley is supposed to look like, by the way. But. That's not the problem on Mom's. Mom's is her tailing elevator bearing is out, or almost out, I should say. 
it's got some slack in it, which uh, is not very good. But we have that bearing. Dad went to go get that pulley at John Deere this morning. I think there's a couple of belts that we're going to replace since we're sitting here staring at them. One's going to be this chopper belt. There's some chunks out of it. And then our discharge beater belt right here because it has some cracks in it. So we're replacing this one and this one. Actually, we might be replacing both. But anyways, we have some stuff to fix before we start loading the combines this afternoon. I'm sure there's other stuff that uh, I forgot about, but we're gonna do a little mechanicing work. Okay, so we have one, two chopper belts. We have the rear discharge beater belt, and we have the um, um, tailings elevator bearing. Which, we looked up on the parts list, this bearing goes on so much stuff, it's actually pretty crazy. Good gosh. It'd be too easy to just make it... Why didn't they make the notch yeah. just a little bit... <laughs> I mean, they're like, oh yeah, pass that pulley, we're done. I'm like, no, it needs to be past the pulley so I can get it out. <laughs> I'm sure that two inches of metal right here is just holding this entire combine together. You know what it was? They probably would have gone bankrupt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it almost there? No. <laughs> is it almost there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've done this three times, I think it would get easier. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh. Alright. <laughs> Alright. That's also another thing. There we go. Alright. We're going to skip a little bit. We already put both chopper belts on as well as the uh, discharge beater belt so mom and tessa are going to scott's bluff to pick up some john deere parts and uh i'm gonna pick up my lunch box you're gonna have no more lunch <laughs> project is. There's a lot. I bet that will just fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I need my buffer. Well, that bearing was pretty easy to change. On to the next project. My gosh. I haven't recorded a lot, but we have done a lot, a lot. 
I think I hit almost every single grease fitting on both combines. So uh, dad is still putting the pulley on that. I think everything is pretty much ready to load other than we have to put the shields back on and uh, Cody has to finish with the air filters. Cody also unhooked the grain cart and got that ready to load on the drop deck, but that'll go on the second load. Kind of change of plans. I don't think we're gonna be loading today. It is already like 6.30 or something like that. And I think dad was wanting to wash the 18 wheelers um, before we load stuff. So, we're not gonna make time today, which is okay. We ran into more problems than we thought we would fixing stuff, which is pretty typical. But I did fire up my combine and uh, checked one more time if the air conditioner worked and it did not. The air conditioner is still messed up. So um, tomorrow we're going to be washing trucks and uh, John Deere is going to come out again and try to assess that situation. It's, uh, it's getting pretty old at this point. But I don't think I want to add another day onto this video. So the next video is going to be move day. And uh, I think I'm going to stop the video right here. And then the next video will pick up tomorrow as well as move day. We will continue this whole project in the next video. So with that being said, I think that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.